Are you in a situation wherein your internals is just around the corner and you haven't prepared anything? Then you are at the right place guys because in this video I will be explaining some tips which may help you prepare for your upcoming internals in a very less span of time. So without waiting let's start with the video guys. First thing which I would like to share here is to make a study plan. So break down the material which you need to cover into manageable chunks and allocate specific time blocks for it. So this will help you make the most out of your limited time which is left for your uh, upcoming internals. So when there is very less amount of time present, so making a effective study plan becomes very important and that too should be unique. Okay. So that doesn't mean when someone is following one study plan, that doesn't mean that even you should follow the same. So you should be brave enough to experiment what works out for you. This was a good statement which was said by Mrinal Kuteri who was uh, an all India topper in NEET I mean, uh, some two years back. Yeah, you should be unique in your study plan and that study plan should help you cover the most of the topics in a very less amount of time. So then, so then coming to the next point, prioritizing topics becomes very important guys. Identify the most important topics that you need to focus on and prioritize them in your study plan. So this will help you make the most out of your limited time again by focusing on the most important material which is uh, whose probability of appearing in the exam is very much high. So those topics which contain very high weightage in your exams that should be covered first in your study plan and then if you have time you can go on to the topics which are very least important in terms of weightage. So this will help you cover important things first and then move on to the uh, less important ones. So when you are making your study plan, consider, consider this as an important factor that is prioritizing important things first and then coming on to the less important ones. Yes, moving on to the next one. Third thing which I would like to cover here is to use active study methods. So rather than simply reading or rereading your notes or some study material which you are using, try to engage with the material in a more active way. So just reading doesn't take you anywhere. So you should uh, try to adopt some uh, new age methods or some active study methods which will help you retain the concept which you learn or retain the content which you intake and send it to the, your long term memory. So that that will help when you are appearing for your exams. For this, this could include creating flashcards. You may have heard about flashcards. This is a very important way of interacting with the study material and, and sending it to your long term memory very soon. And then it may be teaching the material to a study partner. Yes, guys, teaching becomes very important and has a lot of benefits when it comes to your uh, amount of retention and when it comes to the uh, aspect of sending it to your long term memory. When you teach someone some concept, then you will have a greater hold on the concept. You can try it out if you haven't experienced this. You can try teaching uh, a concept which you have, which you are low on confidence to someone who is struggling to study it. And then through that what will happen is even he, the one who you will teach, it may be he or she, even she will be uh, benefited and then along with that even you will get a good grab on the topic and then you will be even high, more confident in the topic than you were before teaching him. So this becomes a good thing. I mean this becomes very important for your retention. And then it may be attempting practice problems too. Yes guys, rather than reading, reading, there will be uh, one point of time after reading a lot, what you will feel is you have covered everything but you are not confident on even one thing. So this happens a lot. I mean, this happens, it's happened a lot to me too. At that time, what you should do is you should try attending some practice problems. Practice problems in the model which appears in the upcoming internals itself, like what type of internals have come in previous years, you should take that and you should try practicing them too. Rather than simply studying and studying, which will make, I mean, which will uh, take you to a point which I stated earlier itself, you that you will know everything, you will study everything and then you will not be confident on even one thing. So that shouldn't happen with you. For that, attempt, attempting practice problems will be a good thing. So use these three, uh, try to use these three active study methods for your study when you are studying. And then fourth tip which I would like to give you here is to take breaks. Taking frequent breaks is very much important and taking rest during your study sessions helps you stay focused and then it will even avoid burnouts. Sit for a long time and when you continuously start studying, what happens is at some point of time, your mind requires some rest, okay? So once you give a lot of uh, workload on your brain, even your brain becomes stressed how you become stressed when you are put into a lot of work at a stipulated amount of time. So whenever you start studying or whenever you study, uh, I'll try to adopt this thing, try to give frequent breaks, maybe after a span of 30 minutes or it may be after a span of one hour too. It depends on person to person. So this will help your brain to get recharged and to, what I can say, to bring out the same enthusiasm which you had while you sat for study. 
yes guys so you can do this you can while taking a break you can just talk to your family members and you can just talk to your pet if you have one that will be great this has also helped me a lot yeah this was it so the fourth point was uh, suggesting you to take breaks so taking frequent breaks becomes really important and one thing is that break shouldn't extend a lot okay so what generally happens is we study for 20 to 25 minutes and then we what we think is we, let me take a five minute break and then what happens is that five minute break extends up to 50 minutes sometimes so this shouldn't happen you should have control on your mind so for that to just um, uh, con to just avoid burnouts and to just uh, bring back the focus which you had while you sat for studying taking breaks becomes really important fifth and the last tip i would like to give you here is to seek help when you are in difficult situations so what happens is whenever you sit for studying even if you understand everything but in one point of time you will be stuck on something or you will be finding difficulty on something or else you will not be confident enough on something at that time what you can do is you can just uh, uh, you should not be afraid to ask help it may be with your friend it may be with your study partner or it may be with your tutor or it may be your teacher you should just be confident enough it you should just be brave enough to just consult them you just talk to them and then get your doubts clarified it may be doubts or it may be what i uh, addressed earlier it may be getting confidence in some concept so what generally happens is when you are stuck on something when you discuss with people like teachers like your friends like your seniors or whoever it may be in that reason the advantage of that is you will have a better hold on it and then once you discuss things that will be uh, sent to your long term memory and your retention will be very high so if you haven't experienced this try it out you will definitely be able to see the results guys and then share your experience in the comment section too so this was it guys these were the five tips which i thought of sharing with you so that you will be able to prepare for your internals in a very less amount of time my points were uh, first thing was to make a study plan and then second was to prioritize things and third was to use active study methods rather than uh, rereading and rereading your notes or study material or something and then fourth thing was to take breaks you can avoid burnouts and then the last thing which we discussed here was seeking help seeking help with your maybe with your friend it may be with your senior or it may be with your uh, uh, what i can say with your study partner or someone yeah but still before ending this video what i feel is there is one more point which i need to cover here which becomes very important compared to all these five points which we discussed earlier that point is to stay calm guys it's natural to feel stressed when you are preparing for a test or an assessment or something related to that you should remember that you have prepared as best as you can and then you should do as best as you can in the test and then results will definitely follow guys when you have done your thing and when you have put a lot of effort on something results will automatically follow you need not bother about it because results are not in your hands efforts putting efforts was in your hands and you have put a lot of effort into it and then you can just sit back and just relax so that the results will automatically follow guys this is one thing i would like to share with you because even if you are if you have studied everything and on the day of your exam when you are not mentally stable when you are not mentally positive so what generally happens is you will not have that much confidence you will not be able to uh, i mean you will not be able to give your best guys to avoid that staying calm becomes really important in this time so you should stay calm and be at the best of your spirits guys so this was it guys this was it from my end i enjoyed a lot sharing all these tips which have worked for me since many years so that it will be a definite benefit for you too try out all these tips so try adopting these tips and then let me know your experience and the way you sail through your internals in the comment section i'll be looking forward to your experiences too and then if you did the same then immediately click on the like button so that i'll be getting some motivation to do further videos like this itself and then if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions for the upcoming videos then uh, put it on the comment section so that you and i will be able to see that and i'll be able to plan accordingly last but not the least i'd like to tell you regarding our telegram group what generally happens is during this uh, examination season what happens is you will be in need of many study materials which are not available with you it may be of some other college you may be uh, studying in bangalore and uh, the notes for some certain topic may be the best in some college which is located far away like located in north karnataka and all in that case uh you must definitely join our telegram group because in our telegram group there are students from distant corners of karnataka when you can consult them and you can ask for doubts or if you can ask for study materials here 
yeah you can do everything out there you can just uh, get into some efficient discussions too which are going on frequently in that group so immediately click uh, join that group too i am given the link in the description this was it guys thank you guys thank you let's meet in the next video guys bye